First, I want to share something about Jambaha. Govindanani, you will translate or? Ah, okay. Nita appear in Jamda. I am very happy. <clears throat> Two days ago there was Purnima full moon. And they made a Pran Pratishta ceremony. Like life giving ceremony. Installation of the deity. It's a ritual where you by mantras you call Nitai into the deity. And I posted some pictures and video on Viber. So the grandmother of Gurudev, Jamdaha is her birthplace. She put Radha Pati Pavan, Radha Krishna in the temple. Then I think 13 years ago, Mahaprabhu was coming to Jamdaha. There is a nearby hill, near the village, there is a small hill. The name of that hill is Gora Parbat, Golden Hill. And the local people, they say that Mahaprabhu, he came to this village. When he came back from Vrindavan, going back to Jagannath Puri, he came through the Jarakhanda forest, the area is Jarakhand, the forest, the jungle. where he was dancing with the animals, chanting, eh? and the tigers and the deer, <laughs> they also chant. So Mahaprabhu, he stayed some days in that area <laughs> for relax. So on this little hill, there was Mahaprabhu deity installed. 13 years ago. But no Nityananda. And in the beginning of this year, I was thinking maybe we should also bring Nitai to Jandaha. And then by the mercy, it happened. <clears throat> Nitai Baba, who is taking care of Jamdaha Temple, Radha Pati Pavan Temple, he went to Mayapur and he talked to one Deity Wala, somebody who making deities, and they did that Deity for Jamdaha. So now, Nitai Goranga in Jandal. Without Nitai, we cannot get mercy of Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> and without Mahaprabhu, we cannot get Radha Mohan.
So now everything perfect in Janda. Nita is there. Gore is there. Radha Pati Pavan are there. And you can see how service is going on. Nita Baba, he is so great so. He started doing service there 15 years ago. Permanently, 24 7. Sometimes bringing village people to Mungi Mandi. <coughs> This is really local area. <laughs> Nothing is there. <laughs> India, village. <laughs> but mercy of Nitai can go everywhere. Patipavana means very merciful to the fallen and ignorant souls. It's so surprising <laughs> that in one small village somewhere in the nowhere of India, the village people, they get the mercy. And Nitai Baba, he create so nice atmosphere. Every festival he is doing, Prem Prasad distribution also going on. You see the pictures, everything is village style, <laughs> very colorful. Indians, they like colors, colors, everywhere colors, more colors. <laughs> but so beautiful, painting everywhere. And he is giving service to all village people. Everyone love Nitai Baba. Everyone respect Nitai Baba. All the young boys, and girls in the village, they support him. He only call them and then they decorate and they make festivals. This temple become more famous in that area. <laughs> this area, most of the Indian people, they are devotees of Sita, Ram, Shiva, but no Radha Krishna. And no Braja, no mood of Vrindavan. But now everything happened. Miracle by Gurudev. One time I'm asking Gurudev, Oh Gurudev, what should I do in Janda? <laughs> he said, huh? You only do your bhajan. Nobody doing bhajan. Power of bhajan will change things. Feelings work. Now I see miracle happen. Village people, they become very proud. This is our temple. This is our Takoji. <laughs> Donations coming. Construction work is going on. Everything going on. Cow Seva.
मेरे ख्याल सो आई एम वेरी हैप्पी जय राधे गुरुदेव यू वॉन्ट टू से समथिंग अबाउट जमदा beautiful place you don't need to drink bottle water there you no need that natural country side of india if you want to go and see you can go by flight there now by the mercy of patit pavan from delhi there is a flight to go devgarh devgarh and from there in one hour you are in jamda so before was 24 hours traveling in india but now in 2 hours from delhi airport you can reach jamda this is the mercy of patit pavan there was no link road to jamda now there is four side roads are there in no time gaur chandra has start doing bhajan and it is start happening four side roads are there with the bridge there is no bridge for any time you cannot go there now all bridge and roads made it and every corner you can go from jamda and by the grace of patit pavan flight is start also and very near to that place is also big ashram is there for yoga vikhya is also very near to jamta and devgarh is a baba dham shiva temple is also very auspicious place you can see near to that is a mandar hill mandar hill where the in the ocean churning of the ocean this mountain use is still you can see many signs many things there when you go that mountain this was churning of the ocean use that so very inside the village water is so pure you will eat in two hours again you will feel to eat and pure indian village you can see there and my gora chandra love that place my gopinath and gora chandra all they are very attached with that place and this is the birth place of my grandmother her name was raj mata rani saraswati devi she is so much corporate to my grandfather
जय हो फैमिली ऑफ गुरुदेव दे फाइव टेम्पल थ्री एंड मुंगी सिटी ऑफ मुंगी वन एंड जमदहा वन एंड वृंदावन एक्चुअली टू एंड वृंदावन लिटल राधा मोहन टेम्पल इज ऑल्सो दे बट इज रियली पैराडाइज जमदहा everything is growing natural bananas papayas um, pomegranate mangoes lychees everything and because this temple is very local it was very difficult to go there gurudev told there was no asphalt road you have to go by train sometimes i'm traveling in the train 40 hours and taking a jeep uh, car three hours and road like this crossing the river no sometimes have to go through the river also but now <laughs> but i must see everything government they make when i came first time maybe 10 years ago there was no electricity in that village can you imagine that <laughs> no electricity and the water guru dev mentioned very pure water there is a well you pump the water near to this well <coughs> there is a big neem tree neem no? very healing cleaning purifying tree so water is so tasteful village people they come take the water from there and could they say if you drink no after two three hours you become hungry again after eating you drink something again <laughs> so much energy you want to eat again so yeah miracle this mandar hill also like a mountain guru dev mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam the devas and the asuras they want to get the nectar eh? so they churning the ocean by using big snake like a rope eh? so they use that mountain <clears throat> as the center no this mountain also near mahaprabhu also went there i think there's even footprint or something in this mountain of chaitanya mahaprabhu yeah i hope i can go again one day in the future
I want to bring more devotees there to see that. If we make Japanese group to go there, people they freak out in Jamba. <laughs> They never see Japanese <laughs> When Gurudev, he went with devotees from Muye Mante. He went to Jamdaha, I think, maybe 2009, something. And together with Gopika and Rai Priya, from Estonia. So people, they never see Europe, people from Europe then, white skin, they never see that. They have eyes like this. When Gurudev came there, thousands of people, they came from all the area, from many villages around. You know, These are the big news. The king is coming, you know, like because Gurudev coming from the king family. This temple was made by the queen of Mungir. So when they listen, no. Oh, Sadhu Maharaj coming. <laughs> King is coming. <laughs> Thousands of people they came to see their devotees come. And they could not believe to see that. No electricity, no internet, nothing was there. No television. Today different of course. No internet, you see everything. Traveling more easy. But that time, my dear, <laughs> that was really. Yes, Gurudev inspired me to do service for Patipal. He knows my nature. I'm also village boy. I also like countryside. I like agriculture. I like simple life. So Gurudev put me there. Mm. Pati Pawan catch my heart. My life changed after I doing service in Jamdan. <clears throat> we need study. We need relation with our Mohan, with our Patipa, helping Radharani to serve them. Jai Ho, Jai Shri Radhe Pati Ki Jai. Okay, I'm reading something. Somebody want to share? Somebody want to add? Suniti, you want to say something? Just say Gurudev is back. Huh? What about Gurudev? Gurudev is online again. He was offline and now because he was speaking, he can continue sharing again. Again? Why not? I like to listen, Gurudev, when you speak about your grandmother and Jamnaha. If there is a one devotee 
who has a faith in Ishtadev, that place starts developing. Why? Because the one devotee is connected and Radha Mohan to come there because of the, the devotion of the world. And when he appears in the place, the old vibration start changing. This was my realization. And if this more and more like this devotion happen in life, more devotees grow up, more that place will become very divine. Similarly, is happening in Vrindavan and I see in Jamda, in village. <laughs> Without devotees and the devotion to Ishtadev, that place attraction not look there. No vibration is there. No feelings. One person has to be connected and he can give this idea to many persons. And when he grows this type of relation with his relation, then an Expected energy is received from it. Unexpected. This person, Dora Chandra, is a German boy. You see him. Well, I see him from long time. He is traveling with me and he ran away from me after one week. Because my traveling is very different traveling I do. Every two days I am going other places. He will say why he ran away from me. <laughs> and when he got the realization, I said to run away, but he don't want to run away. He is fixed, automatically fixed. And miracle what happened, he went to the Japan. He cannot do anything in Germany, but when he went to Japan, he had no desire for marriage. But one day when group Japan group up, and he liked to manage. <laughs> Whole life he had no desire for marriage. I so many times I asked. But when he liked to marriage, she has a big problem, many problems. And when he went there, his all problem solved. This is the Eastern Eastern. Many things was very different. Our mother and her relation was not good. But when he went, all become very good. The German never relate with anyone, right? He's very <laughs> different for them. But what happens? What happened to he become really Patis Bhavan's relation? He has a divine relation. So now his vision becomes changed. He sees different ways of things. <laughs> he is living with the family life, but he is connected with Patitpan. 
He lives in Japan, but he cannot forget to put his power. He is living in the family, but he is detached and thinking all the money what he earned. He all sent for Patit Baba. You will surprise. And he is sitting there and all the seva in Jamdaha he is doing. This is God. This German boy. <laughs> German village boy. Now he is a Japanese man. With the nice mothers, she has no mother. His whole life was painful with the mother, and he got the very nice mother, Japanese mother, Japanese wife, Japanese house, all who give to him. But it power. <coughs> There is nothing missing in his life. He never expect that he will become preacher. And now his classes, he so beautifully give the classes. How he do this? I surprise when I see him. But he's so patient, so nice. Before he was small thing, he irritated. Like a heist is a geist. And so mind is too much fixed, only calculating through the mind. But he living in the heart, you can feel it. Now you listen his classes, then you will understand. See this your German boy. Now he became Japanese man. He's a preacher in Japan. <laughs> he has many person listeners to see list. You all will appreciate one, two, three, four person German he is sitting here to listen. <laughs> Now we share. One more thing. Pati Pavan also make very simple. <clears throat> you speak about Ishta Nishta. How to grow my faith. But Pati Pavan he makes so easy. Place for one devotee. There is a place. It was before nobody going there. So when somebody take uh, the pain to travel there, you know, sitting in the train for so long time and traveling. Patit Pavan, shower the mercy to you. <laughs> They're so happy to see someone coming from far. And I had simple life. I earned some money in Germany and I start giving little donations ne? for Zambha. <laughs> New painting here, make some garden, plant some trees, little, little. But then my circumstances, they change. No? Better job coming, more time. So everything start flowing immediately. I could feel that. Wow, little seva, but big mercy happening. So very easy to grow my faith. So I just continue <laughs> doing small things. 
but then jackpot <laughs> my rasa madhuri my mother everything jackpot <laughs> cannot believe that shri radhe so now we are sharing golden words of gurudev <clears throat> we continue reading temple of love from page 105 my swamini is not renounced we have desire that is what is her desire we have many desire she has only one as king kares we will follow her so much confusion for nothing raghunath das goswami has only one desire because he is in the past times of radha and krishna this is only possible when we have a desire to become a servant of radhika this mood makes me to increase my spiritual consciousness swamini is not renounced she is not detached she is very attached this is the way of ragab in vaidhi bhakti we want to renounce we want to detach we want to purify and then bhakti will come maybe <laughs> in raga bhakti we don't want to renounce we don't want to detach we want to attach but one point gurudev saying so much confusion because of my many 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 desires what will make me happy i don't know i keep trying and trying i try this i try that let's try again uh let's try something new but never real happiness is coming
and kinkaris they want to follow Radharani. Only one desire. Then the confusion will go. Radha Radha Gaurachandra. I hope. I think this is a very, very important point that you mentioned. And I also remember Gurudev saying that one attachment will resolve many efforts for many detachments. And you just nicely explained that the kinkari, the dasi only is attached to do what she feels that Swamini wants her to do. That is her attachment. So immediately there is no need to think what to detach from. Sometimes in our bhakti, when we have no Ishtadev, like you were telling, your relationship to Patita Pavan was making you so happy or is making you. And very simply, in a very simple way, everything happened. By doing the garden, by fixing some roofs or some walls, by just feeling I want to make this place beautiful for Patita Pavana, for the pleasure of their devotees. So sometimes in our bhakti also we have had this situation where we don't know who is my Ishtadi. Is it Krishna? Is it Balaram? Is it Arjuna? What mood is the mood that I need to develop? By Gurudev's grace, he has made so many things clear for us now, even without having fully realized it. But it's for sure. I am aspiring to be a Dasi. And that attachment of that goal is taking away a lot of other ideas or speculations or trying to detach from this and from that. So that's what Gurudev always says, the Rati, this intense desire to please the lotus feet of Sri Guru and then feeling the mood of Sri Guru in coming closer to the mood, that is Nita is mercy. Because Nita then is becoming not only the general Guru Tattva, but when we really fix to the lotus feet of Sri Guru, and the mood of Sri Guru in his own bhav, which is Radha Dasi bhav, Kinkari bhav, then Nitai will also reveal himself in his deepest bhav, in Madhuya bhav, in Ananga Mandri's feelings, to always assist Srimati Radhika. So this is all connected and it makes our life very simple and very sublime. Mm, because sometimes we think, oh, spiritual life is very complicated, it's very complicated. But when we come closer to the Ishta Nishta, to the firm faith in our worshipable Srimati Radhika and her Dasis, the life becomes easy again. And like a miracle, all the services that we do will give one result only to develop more attachment, to develop more firm faith, and just to see astonishing things happen in our lives. Even we don't understand how it happens, right? Gorachanaji, you don't know how it happened that you came to Japan. And I remember always Gurudev said, my boy is coming. 
you remember? And then you said, I am not a boy anymore, Gurudev. I'm coming to 50. <laughs> but for Gurudev and his love, you're always his young boy. Or let's say, it's sweet Darcy. <laughs> so that is the feeling, no? Mm. Mm. So that is our honor that we are called our young girl is coming, our young boy is coming. That reminds us, yes, I'm always wanting to feel in this young, childish mood and just follow what is coming by the grace of Shiguru, by the grace of Nitai. And by the way, I like so much this jolly face of Nitai that was installed now, who came to Jamdaha. He looks so jolly. And I really, uh, I feel the happiness that he is now coming there and how he is making happy also to Lord Gauranga. Yeah. But this is really the mercy and now is the Balaram Purnima, we know. I don't know when, if you celebrated it yesterday also in Rindavan in Germany, it was yesterday. And that was a perfect day. It is the day of Nitai's mercy. So that Purnima is really also Guru Purnima. Balaram Purnima is also Guru Purnima, is Nitai's Purnima. So he came at the exact right time and uh, so much appreciated. And I'm personally also very go eager to see Jamdaha one day and to feel the, the energy of uh, Rani Ma of Rai Mata. I want to also feel that. And things are so simple there. And then also, because you and me, Goda Chandra, we don't owe, we have some more things in common, huh? Because we like gardening, we like working with the land, we like also simplicity. And of course, we have the same guru, Shri Guru. So that is a, a very nice place to, to learn how to be in simple life and to have but the high bhajan. And then like Gurudev explained by that, many things are moving unexpectedly. Radhi, thank you for sharing all of this beautiful feelings of your relationship to Patita Pavan, how you develop it and how everything became the jackpot. And I like how you, li you call your sweet Rasa Madhuri and her mom the jackpots in your life. <laughs> so sweet. <clears throat> so Niti, she spoke one very beautiful and very deep point. Gurudev say, if you have <laughs> One strong attachment, one very ra deep rati for something. Then hundreds of other desires are gone. You don't need to detach one thing, next thing, this thing, again something. If we can attach to one thing very strongly, automatically detach from them. Imagine someone has addiction, very heavy addiction for alcohol. He will sacrifice everything to fulfill that one desire. He will spend the last money for getting that. He will stop eating 
saving the money for eating, <laughs> only to get that. So that makes everything so simple and bhakti also. If we really deeply can pray that this attachment is coming, life become really simple, easy. Confusion is going. For this we have to pray that we are attached one point. <laughs> then Jai Ho, thank you, Suniti. And Nita, yes. So, this jolly mood, huh? Our dude. Speaking about Krishna, but bringing to Radharani. This is also Gurudev doing in Europe. <laughs> you remember that? In the beginning, traveling, everyone is Krishna devotee. Hare Krishna is coming. Gurudev, he shares so sweet Krishna stories, no? Drupadi stories and Krishna and Arjun and Krishna and <laughs> speaking, speaking Krishna. No? And always inviting everyone, come Vrindavan, come Vrindavan. <laughs> this is also Nita, speaking Krishna but secretly bringing to Radharani. Jai Ho. Raghunath Das Goswami has only one desire because he is in the pastimes of Radha and Krishna. This is only possible when we have a desire to become a servant of Radhika. Oh. Radhika has only one desire. Her dasis also have only one desire. Going to the Leela Entering the Leela is only possible if we want to become maid servant of Radharani. Meaning is we need Swarup for that. We need our spiritual body. then it's possible to enter into the Leela. This mood makes me to increase my spiritual consciousness. What consciousness? Your relation as Radha Dasi makes you conscious. Gurudev kindly asked 
to pose this description of 25 qualities of our Radhika and said that if we can follow only one, our life changes and we come in connection with her. Automatically, all other qualities will come. So these qualities are as follows. Radharani shares unlimited qualities. But 25 most important are mentioned here. And Gurudev say, if you can absorb yourself in just one of these qualities, going deep in one of Radharani's qualities, automatic you will realize all others also. And you come in contact with her directly by absorbing yourself, meditating about her divine qualities or just one divine quality. Why is that? Nam Guna Rupa Lila. There is no difference of Radharani, Radharani's name, Radharani's form, Radharani's qualities, and the Lila. So her transcendental quality is not different from herself. By meditation about that, we directly connect with her. So now we can read these qualities. Suniti, Gurudev, told you to put these qualities in the book or how this happened? No, for example, some things were also coming from Yashodama, from Radhakund. And uh, We collected different, different classes. And then sometimes when we were discussing with Gurudev, then he also, we were reading to him. For example, in this case, we were reading uh, about the 25 qualities of Radhika. I think it must have been around Radhastami or something. And then Gurudev said, post it means send it to Radhadasya. Ah. And because we were, it was included in the class and I was transcribing or Ma, Yashoda Ma was transcribing, then also it came into this book. Wow. For example, the next one is also a letter that was very um, good for teaching all of us. So yeah. many things came into this book that were at that time precious. So it is precious to meditate about Srimati Radhika's qualities and how um, 
you know, these things maybe Guru Dev said them 15 years ago, but they are still valid. They are always eternally valid for all of us. They are all valuable. So it's always good to, to know that even if we only meditate and think on one quality of Swamini and we go deeply, what does it mean and how can I be her shadow? How can I uh, serve this quality? And serving means you imbibe it. You in, you get infused with the quality. And so Gurudev says, it's not that we have to learn all the qualities by heart like a scholar, right? Oh, now let's listen to 25 qualities of Srimati Radhika. And then boom, 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 boom. <laughs> no. Just focus on one, like she is sweetness personified. What does it mean, the sweetness? Where does the sweetness come from? How does the sweetness manifest in all of her limbs, in her eyes, in her smile? And that is what is like you also explained nicely, is the difference between the Raga mark and the Vaidhi mark. Because in Vaidhi, we try to learn the things like book knowledge, like a gyan. Oh, I need to learn it. It's not bad to be, you know, also enthusiastic to learn things like when you want to learn a language, you learn the vocabulary. But now we are in the school of love, in the school of feelings, of bhav. And that is a difference. We don't want to just learn the qualities and maybe then again forget them. But we go into whatever quality is very attractive that I want to serve and I go deeply and I feel it. And I connect with it from my inner, inner, innermost self, means from my Swarup. And then so many things come. Unlimited things are coming. And I think that is why it is so important that to really listen what Gurudev says. We follow only one, our life changes and we come in connection with Srimati Radhika. This is our desire. We want to connect and we want to feel and we want to also get some inner mm, Pictures, how she looks, how she walks, how she is taking prashad, what is her expression on her face. We want to come close, right? So when we meditate only, for example, on one of these beautiful, beautiful qualities, which are exactly not 25, but Shimati Radhika has unlimited qualities. Because her love is unlimited in her prema and her all her feelings. She is Mahabhav personified. She exists. Her being is feeling and love. So, but only concentrate on one point can make me deeper as if I try to learn 25 points. It's similar like the other point that we were talking. Huh? One attachment can solve many detachments. So one focus on one quality and going deeply with that, like meditating and imagining how I can serve her, that can um, make things easy and not trying to just learn the words so that I can repeat them. I think that's why we put it in this book. And that's why also it's nice to meditate from a different perspective, to get out of confusion. <laughs> I want to ask my Goravani also, he want to share something about the unlimited qualities of Srimati Radhika. My dear friend, I'm really 
honored to be asked by you, but I have nothing to say, really. I, I just enjoy to hear. Like unlimited, one quality of Radharani is unlimited. So we could talk about this years and we would never ever finish. And Gurudev, he actually was injecting some of these drops in our veins so that this actually can grow. This is all I have to say. Thank you for the mercy, Gurudev, and thank you for the mercy, Radharani, and thank you all for the mercy of being with you and sharing with you again and again. Radhe Radhe. <clears throat> Something come in my mind. Suniti so just said that Gurudev giving this lecture is 15 years ago. But they are still valid. No? They have not become old. I just think that 15 years ago we don't understand anything what Gurudev taught me. Slowly now we start un to understand little what he is speaking. I could not understand deeply the lectures Gurudev gave 15 years ago. So sometimes I'm thinking in the lectures, oh, what I can, what I can share. And again and again, we listen sometimes the same point, no? then thinking, ah, Again, the same subject, but we have to listen again and again and again and again, because we don't catch everything by listening only one time. It's like uh, carving, no? <laughs> Again, again, make more deep, make more deep. And tomorrow I forget everything again. Then I have to listen again. So now we start understanding little. Fifteen years ago, I don't understand anything. So now, twenty-five transcendental qualities. Number one, she is sweetness personified. So Niti already spoke that. How does it look? Oh, shit. Radhe. Right. You've done it. One thing I want to share. Dasi means to to get this the boss nature has to come to the servant. So Prabhupada's right in Krishna, then slow but steady the goal highest goal come to you and that's a ultimate goal huh? 
ultimate goal, right? Right. That ultimate goal, what is ultimate goal? To be a Dasi of Radhika. How to be Dasi? This nature of the boss has to come. How we become disciple of my Gurudev, his nature has to ad adopt in our life is a Dasi. Wow. This is the real student take the he no doubts in the Sikhse Guru, Mr. Guru Sardha. These, they accept this mood in life and they believe in this practice to be a Dasi. They are Dasi. So, Raga Bhakti, we have to practice to do that. And Vaidhi Bhakti, only to listen and remember from the mind, but you not bring to the heart that subject. Raga comes to the heart, and Vaidhi stay in the mind. These are the difference between Raga and Vaidhi Bhakti. Radha, thank you. Nadi Gurudev, thank you so much. Nice to hear it from your mouth into our hearts. And yesterday also I, I found a nice quote in that relationship. And I send it to you, but I think your internet is not going so strongly. I found the quote uh, of Srila Narayan Maharaj Gurudev when he said that what is the difference between Tattva Gyan and rasa vichar. What is the difference between, uh, you know, collecting knowledge and coming into the feeling? And he said that when we become, we want to enter into the mood of Rindavan, we have to become ikantic or one-pointed. And then he said, that is a transformation of this information collected collecting information, collecting tattva or knowledge or trying to remember by the mind. And he says this jnan, what we usually refer to, that belongs actually only to the meditation of Brahman. Every kind of jnan comes from this Brahman uh, identification. I am part of this Brahman, this word jnan, belongs to that category. But if we want to enter the mood of Rindavan, or if we want to follow, like you said, as a student, the feelings of my Gurudev that I have to, I want to imbibe, I want to get into my heart, and that I want to feel, and I want to serve, then this Gyan has to transform into Bhav. And I like that point very much. How Gyan, which is like a learning or like a some knowledge that we try to study, it does not come into the feelings of Braja. We will stay in Brahman or in Vaikuntha with that kind of mentality. But to enter into the feelings of Rindavan, to enter into the feelings of my Guru Dasi, my Guru Devi, my Guru Manjari, then I have to come to the level of Bhav. And when the feelings arise by mercy and also by desire, then they will stay with me. They cannot leave. Feelings we don't forget. And I like that point, Gurudev. Thank you that you also bring it up and how important it is in my life, in our lives, to come from this knowledge level, information level, to the feeling level. 
and to the feelings of Brindavan, the feelings how to serve as a Dasi, the feelings of Srimati Radhika, who is feeling or serving Mohan. <clears throat> I also read, I also think from Narayan Maharaj. He said that the knowledge is only useful to bring you to the point of starting Raga Bhakti. To bring you to that point, to understand what is the goal and what is the ultimate goal. The goal is Krishna and the ultimate goal is to love him, not to know him, not to understand him, not to worship him, but to love him. That is the ultimate goal. And how we can love him? Uh, by the mercy of Mahaprabhu giving us this Manjari bar by serving Radharani because she knows how to give love to her. So when we come to this conclusion by studying philosophy, try to understand everything and then to accept the conclusion of all the knowledge. That bhakti is the conclusion. Raga bhakti is the conclusion. Then we can forget everything. All the knowledge we can forget. So knowledge only useful to bring to that point. If you accept that and start doing raga bhakti, fix yourself in one mood and practice that like your Guru Dev is practicing that. <laughs> then you can close all the books and put them away. So beautiful. It's so astonishing <laughs> how everything becomes so simple. Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada, last line. <laughs> last line of Prabhupada, Bhagavad Gita. If you want to be Natural. Normal. Simple. Normal. Uh, normal. Normal. You have to take the center of pleasure giving potency. If you want to, means we are abnormal. We are working in Manobhati. Only collecting information. We cannot be in normal. If you want to normal, take the shelter of pleasure giving potency. And the practice what she is doing in your life. And be a Dasi of Radhika. This is the meaning of telling this. You will be normal. We will become not.
any desire should be there, only one pointed desire, how to follow your, your nature in my life, how to accept it and how to practice it. One of these, anyone practice in my life can change my life. If I practice to Sadguru, any nature of Sadguru, life will change. But we have to understand how they are doing the Read some. This is also this is a conclusion of Bhagavad Gita. Yes. Even Krishna, he teach that to Arjuna. In eighteenth chapter, Krishna telling Arjuna, "Now I told you everything." Think about it, and then you decide what you want to do. Then Arjuna start thinking. Oh, I listen about karma. I listen about the soul. I listen about jnana. I listen about material world, maya. I listen about the senses and the mind and the different, different types of yoga. I listen about creation and everything I listen. So then Krishna, he watching Arjun, how he's thinking. And then Krishna said, Oh, my dear friend, again I will tell you the most important. Then he's speaking, 1866. Sarva Dhamma Mam Vikam You listen so many things. All philosophy, all jnana, la, la, la. But give up. Leave it. All the different types, ways of yoga and self-realization and this and that. Religion. Give up everything. Take shelter of me. Take shelter of my one. So Krishna also saying that the knowledge is good to bring you to the point you understand love is important. Then you can forget everything. Just start a relation with me. Krishna also want to make very simple for Arjun. Very simple. But we are so complicated <laughs> for, for us. It's very difficult to accept that it is actually very, very simple. So then Krishna said to Arjun, huh, don't worry, have no fear. <laughs> it's really very simple. Because difficult to believe that. What happened? I don't know. I'm 
it's so difficult to believe that it is so simple. So we are wrong. We have doubts. So Krishna say, don't fear, don't worry. Sri Radhe, wow. Number two, Radharani quality. She is a fresh young girl. Her eyes are always moving. She is always brightly smiling. She possesses all auspicious marks on her body. She can agitate Krishna by the flavor of her person. Krishna becomes mad for her when her fragrance coming in his note. She is expert in the art of singing. She can speak very nicely and sweetly. She is expert in presenting feminine attractions. She is modest and gentle. She is always very merciful. She is transcendentally cunning. She knows how to dress nicely. She is always shy. She is always respectful. She is always patient. She is very grave. She is enjoyed by Krishna. She is situated on the highest devotional platform. She is the abode of love of the residents of Gokul. She can give shelter to all kinds of devotees. She is always affectionate to superiors and inferiors. She is always obliged by the dealings of her associates. She 
is the greatest amongst Krishna's girlfriends. And she always keeps Krishna under her control. Jai Shri Radhe. Repeat again. <laughs> From beginning. She is sweetness personified. She is a fresh young girl. Her eyes are always moving. She is always brightly smiling. She possesses all auspicious marks on her body. She can agitate Krishna by the flavor of her person. She is expert in the art of singing. She can speak very nicely and sweetly. She is expert in presenting feminine attractions. She is modest and gentle. She is always very merciful. She is transcendentally cunning. She knows how to dress nicely. She is always shy. She is always respectful. She is always patient. She is very great. She is enjoyed by Krishna. She is situated on the highest devotional platform. She is the abode of love of the residents of Gokul. She can give shelter to all kinds of devotees. She is always affectionate to superiors and inferiors. She is always obliged by the dealings of her associates. She is the greatest amongst Krishna's girlfriends. And she always keeps Krishna under her control. Jai Shri Radhe. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Gurudev, Suniti, for sharing. Radhe, Radhe. One thing I want to add here. He is doing for Krishna and the Manjari is doing for Radhika. That you understand. Wow. Like I explained you, again repeat. She is sweetness personified, Gurudev. So Manjari is all also sweetness for you. Sweetness. They have a little sweetness. Then they are Manjari. Yeah.
She is a fresh young girl. So Manjaris are always fixed in one age. So she has to practice that way in her Manjari Bhava. She is young, her age is fixed, and she, she has nothing to change her age. And she is always young because her sarup is young. The age is fixed. Gurudev age is one day higher than me, and my age is fixed. Her eyes are always moving. Searching how to do, what to do, the service from my Swami. What is want now? She is always brightly smiling. Yeah, always smiling. This is the Siddha there. When we stay in our spiritual body, we always like to smile. We are never tired. Material body makes us blocky and suffering. Sarup Avesh is never suffering. Trinata Pichina Bhav make us smile also. Yeah. We are Trinata because we are your Dasi. You are my Swami. She possesses all auspicious marks on her body. Yeah, you see the manjiris are marked by Swami. That you are now manjiri, my mark, my servant. Be praying for that when you will mark me as your dasi to me. I am your mark, my servant. All my ornaments are your prasad. <laughs> Radhika's ornament is Krishna, and the Manjari ornament is for Radhika. Your prasad. I am doing what I am doing, and what is my ornament is what I learned in my life. That is my ornament, and it's because of you. Ornament is the decoration of, of your realization. This is all you must close it, switch up. This is not good. Yeah. She can agitate Krishna by the flavor of her person. Huh? She can agitate Krishna yeah. and we can agitate her from, with my services to Swami, to you. I have no business with you, Krishna. I have only business with you. That is Manjari But Manjari also agitate Krishna for Radharani. No for Krishna, no. He no want to divert his mind. Uh, for the service of Radhika. Of course, yeah. But my Swami is my goal. I will do for you, not for myself. Krishna is nothing for me. 
I will do if you will say to me to do that. For you, I will do. I will go and catch, bring to him. And when, and I will become angry that you will want to meet with him rather than me. Check the car. Yeah. Yeah. So, Guru, take rest in Japan now. Okay, but you want to continue? No, no, no rest. When rest is I can do that. Rather. This is all one pointed rather thus. Manjiri not see out of that. Manjiri see my Swami is Krishna. There is no business with my direct relation with me. My Swami. What is meaning of Swami if I catch his my Shamni's lover, like a boss, my boss lover, I have only to give the service like a boss to his lover. Right. Thank you. Talking the name even the name of the my son's boss name is also not yes, he is also not good. Yes, yes, um, yeah. Uh, I can use that for direct. That's it. Get careful with this. Even the boss name they don't say. How he can say the lover of the boss name? Boss name we can share. But the lover, our boss, is hiding. We have to hide this name. <laughs> this is Parki Abhav, not Saki Abhav. Hiding is the beauty for the mind. Parki Abhav, Saki Abhav. You can openly say, oh, he is your husband. But in Parkia, hiding love, we cannot openly say to the public that Swami will not be happy. Right? Radha. Thank you, <laughs> have Guru. To be now you open this to us. Very nice meditation. To, to see all the qualities in the Dasi bath. Yes. That. You can continue, Gurudev. No problem. We're not tired, Gurudev. We become yeah, awake okay. now. Let you take over one, time. One, one place, Radha Mohan Arti said, one place no, no, so no, nice. No, no, no. I don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's going slow. Uh, only flowing. Everything is 
All this mercy. I got the grace when I start living in Vrindavan. Really near to Radha, to my sister. And trying to do some bhajan is still not happening when I'm trying to do. Rat. Yeah, yeah. Shri Ravi.